Hello everyone. Today we will be listening to Sunil who is sharing his interview experience for Cisco. He is a post graduate in computer science from Bits Pilani. Let's hear it. Sunil Kumar Jha. I'm a second year student at uh, Bits Pilani. I'm a CS Bits uh, I'm studying MBA CS there. So right now I am placed in Cisco. Uh, uh, we came now for in our campus for for uh, various roles. Uh, one of uh, like few of them were uh, for network net, network development engineer and uh, for application cloud engineer. And there were few other roles, but there was around five or six roles. But broadly they were divided into two major roles like cloud engineer or network embedded systems and, and network embedded roles. So basically, it was divided into those two roles. So the cutoff for it was uh, uh, initially it was six uh, six point five, but later they reduced it to six. But uh, they like asked us to be above six point five while joining as for full time full time employee there. So so it was six point five uh, cutoff for six point five there. So there were five rounds in total initially. Uh, some of them some of us were only done in four rounds. So. first round was a coding round and there were few codes related questions second round was technical round and uh, uh, a third round was managerial and fourth round was hr some people had two technical rounds i only had one only so that's about the process okay so the first round was a uh, uh, basic test like it was an online round it contained uh, uh, 17 questions in total Uh, out of which two were coding and fifteen were MCQs related to subjects, computer subjects. Most of them were from computer networks only, and few were from semiconductors, semiconductor technology, basic like CMOS and all. And uh, few were uh, aptitude questions, like uh, there were around four or five basic aptitude questions, like what will be the cost of painting the wall? What is the if someone moves this much direction in this, like direction related question and all. So. that was about that uh, questions and the coding questions so we had two coding questions first one was uh, uh, it was very easy it was it was based on some time stamps uh, comparison that like, uh, we were given various entry and exit time stamps for employees in in a, in a company and we have to find out at a particular time how many employees are there logged in in the system that was the first question second question was a matrix related question it was bit hard not many people were able to do it but on, most of the people did only one questions uh, which was selected who were selected and so the one question that one question was fine if you if like most of the people did only one question and second that second question i don't remember much but it was uh, related to matrix and we have to calculate some path in the matrix so that was about the matrix question and um, like mcqs were um, relatively easy i would say because i did not give any other test So it was it was easy. Aptitudes were easy uh, for subjects. Uh, mostly it was from computer networks. Like uh, out of fifteen questions, it was six to seven were from computer networks, and three four were from uh, three four were from aptitude basic aptitude, and one or two questions was from uh, semiconductors like CMOS something about CMOS and all, and uh, yeah. So like. aptitude was very easy uh, aptitude and mcqs also were very easy like basic subnet calculation what what is the subnet for this network uh, what what is different between bridge and router and things like that only so that was about the written round so uh, now i will discuss about my preparation strategy as this time due to uh, corona virus we didn't get much time so it was difficult to get uh, to prepare Uh, right from the beginning when the uh, semester ends, but uh, you have to be like kind of smart and work uh, regularly in how, whatever time we get. So now what I did was I tried to do uh, four five hours of coding daily. Uh, for 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 learning concepts, I use Geeks for Geeks. Uh, Geeks for Geeks is a like it's a very good website. It mentions all the programming concepts and all the data structures, and then gives us some questions related to those. If, if you can do this or at least some of some of these then you can go and practice on other coding websites like lead code lead code i think is the best website according to me because uh, it has it contains mostly those questions which are asked in interviews in some some or like most of the companies like they ask a similar question which are mentioned in 
actually on lead code for like if you feel that you are slow and you don't or go, if you are not good enough and you can't can't solve problem in the limited time period we are provided during the test and you can also um, brush up your skills on code courses and other websites similar websites like code chef and hacker uh, like uh, you know that we are given only one and one and a half hours or most of the uh, companies give, give us only this much time so it's important that we have to keep up with the time as we want to do maximum uh, we can do during those times so that we can be selected and that was about this but and the most important topics i will say like not not man there are only few companies which ask uh, complex data structures questions from complex data structures like tree and graph uh, so I, i will if you if you don't like target those companies then you can mostly target uh, you can mostly ta- uh, try to practice those questions uh, from like uh, arrays you can practice questions from arrays uh, linked list hash tables and like those basic data structures you don't have to go to arrays uh, sorry trees and graphs as those are very complex data structures and not many companies ask from those so if you are not targeting those companies then you can uh, reduce your domain and practice from these only as this will be helpful when uh, that company uh, comes which you are trying to target as most of the companies only ask from arrays and linked list and these types of questions so after i was selected for the further rounds my first round was technical round there were three rounds in total first was technical second was managerial and third was hr so in first round i, I was mostly asked from the projects i had mentioned in my resume so if anyone wants to like pursue job now i would i would advise them to go through go through your resume properly as most of the like interviews they ask from your projects you have mentioned Uh, like because they mention what are they try to they try to gauge what are your technical capabilities and all. so your projects give a very good idea to them about like how good you are in doing some certain projects so how good you are in certain technologies and all so in for my in my first round mostly were from my projects only so i had done three or four projects most of them were from networking so it was uh, kind of boon for me as Cisco being a networking co- company, it was a certainly like they liked it. They, I had done most of the project in networking field, so they asked me from those projects mostly in, te- uh, in technical round for uh, round one, and the questions were mostly about like why did you choose this project, this as a project, what was the benefit of doing this, how did you do this, some problems related to my project, like how did you tackle this problem and some things like that. so my technical round one was for about 45 minutes 45 50 minutes uh, it contained for nearly 30 to 35 minutes it was about my projects on and for last uh, 10 to 15 minutes he asked me from he asked me two coding questions one was like one was find the maximum distance between two elements in an array like you were given an array which might contain duplicates so you have to find two uh, elements such that they have a maximum like if you have so they have a element you have to find the maximum distance between them so if i give you some gives uh, you can find this question on the uh, xogs if you look, look for okay so second question was uh, as a project was related to switches and routers so he asked me if i can represent a switch table as a tree and what will be the benefit if you try to do uh, if you try to represent a switch table using tree so like i Told, I told I told him that uh, there is no benefit as such for representing a tree as a switch ta- uh, uh, representing a switch table as a tree because normally trees are stored in main memory and these are those are very slow as compared to the um, like memory of the switches uh, and they are relatively very fast so it won't be any benefit as such to represent a switch table as a tree but how to represent I told them that we can use a uh, B plus three. We have we have a data structure in uh, called B plus three, uh, which we, we uh, also use to store keys in da- databases, keys for databases. So I told him he wasn't like hundred percent satisfied, but but he was satisfied with the approach I had mentioned. So he was mostly satisfied, and then I was selected to next round. My uh, my next round was managerial round. So it was. Uh, it was around for 40 45 minutes uh, this one also was 
for 40 45 minutes in this like he asked me the interview mainly asked me from like he asked me what was my favorite subject so i told him operating system so for like next 30 25 to 30 minutes i was only asked from operating system so in operating system he asked me from what 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 is process synchronization how like he gave me a scenario how would you synchronize those processes if you have a if you are given a task to do so uh, i told them i told him that i can use semaphores and few other things which we have in uh, uh, operating system i also uh, he also asked me to explain what do you mean by process synchronization and everything like why it is important and things like that so and the one question also one question other, other question he asked me was it, it was just to know my know like how, how I, i would think if given some because in manager around you are not ask this these kind of question so what the question was okay, how would you rotate a line by 90 degree so i told i give a give him some approach like i would try to do this this way this way so he was convinced because of, for most part i was correct so like i, I was selected in th- this round also and i moved to the next round my next round was and my next and final round was hr round it was mostly light very light as uh, he asked me like where i would like to work like in which city i would prefer what technology i would like to work if given a chance and questions like that only it was very light it was only for like 10 or 15 minutes so uh, in second round uh, the two questions uh, two or three questions which were like very important i would say because these are asked mostly in any interview first one was like what what is your ex- expectation from our company like if you join our company what will be you expecting from us and second was like why should we hire you these are two very basic question asked on most all interviews so you you should try to answer both these questions from the company's perspective like uh, if you want to work like for if you want what do why do you want to join company so as a uh, as i'm interested in say asian technology some uh, software defined networking so i told them that cisco being like one of the biggest networking company in the world i would like to work there because i am interested in these uh, these technologies and i i i would like to pursue my career in this also in this in these fields so he was convinced with this and i told some other things as well and in the for the question which he said uh, why should we hire you so for that i mentioned that uh, as you can i mentioned that uh, in my resume i had my mostly mostly my projects were from networking field but there were two other projects which were not which were from uh, one was from android and one was simply some desktop application so i told them that i'm very adaptable to the new technologies i can learn them learn them and i, I can also code them i can also learn new technologies new languages and other things also very easily then he asked me from like i had a ug project or mentioned or, uh, in that as well so he asked me what was your role it was it a team project or things like that like um, he asked me what was your role so i told i had implemented rest apis for it so he asked me what how did you implemented uh, this some some fun- functionalities he asked me like how would you implement this using those technologies and all. so uh, if you want to pursue go go for interview in any company or so most of the companies they will ask mostly ask from your resume only if you are fresher otherwise if you are experienced then it will be mainly based on what you did at your last company so, so i would advise anyone uh, who would like to go for interview to please brush up your skills and the uh, the things you have mentioned in your resume uh, those are very important